Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning my flabby brothers How's everything with you? Okay, uh, today I'm gonna get you about the strategy teaching speaking for young learners and today let me show you about the material or the topic the topic for today is about speaking and storytelling okay uh, you can focus for the PowerPoint here uh, there is strategy and also the, the purpose in the storytelling, storytelling is telling stories or storytelling in verbally conveying feelings so, or storytelling to children. Children will be linked into series or events or battle with the fact of the story characters on the information, intelligence and imagination. The second is the purpose, the purpose of storytelling. The purpose of teaching speaking with the storytelling method is to train students' skill in speaking English. By using this method, students can also think broadly so that their reasoning becomes better. So, in using strategy teaching for young learners, uh, storytelling is great for students who want to improve their speaking back. Maybe uh, one of them have uh, a little problem maybe one of them gets a uh, decadence of their speaking so we can see or we can use this this strategy and here not also the strategy and also the purpose but also there we but also there are three steps in the strategy teaching speaking using I mean uh, strategy teaching speaking for young learners the step uh, <coughs> you can see that there are these steps or steps in learning using the storytelling. The first is the step of opening and starting an activity. So, when the students want to tell, first of all, the student has to have self-confidence first uh, before the opening or starting an activity. The second is the state when telling a story. <coughs> So uh, sometimes uh, because all of students have different characters, so the student has to have uh, a different way to tell the story that the students get from the experience before. <coughs> the third is the state of closing the story and evaluation. Yeah, this is the, the difficult way of thing because of course that uh, the students will be nervous in I mean, in getting this way but uh, in my opinion to know or to improve our speaking back it is uh, not really difficult because when the students have three ways for example the students have self-confidence. The second is the student uh, memorize many vocabularies, and the third is uh, the students have the key to speak. For example, the steps of telling story. For example, I'm um, a student. Um, I was ordered by the teacher to comfort to tell a story uh, from my experience. So I come forward and I tell my story. So for the first time. So you have self-confidence so if you have self-confidence of course that will be easier to speak fluently because you have self-confidence and the second is you have to memorize many vocabularies because in speaking when you want to make your speaking better you have to have I mean you have to memorize many vocabularies so when you when you have memorized many vocabularies you will be uh, you will be easy or you will know about the word that you want to explain in front of your friend so you are like the pillar of the house because you have the confidence and the third is about the way for example you have to have steps uh, 
don't directly you can speak without uh, without thinking too much you only speak because it's nonsense for you because you have no a point because you have no uh, a good point because the teacher sometimes the teacher uh, sometimes the teachers want to want you to speak but also uh, you're speaking I mean uh, your content has to be good I mean <coughs> okay uh, just that what I can teach you for today if you find a mistake from my speech or my behavior I'm sorry because because I was remembering you wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh thanks my friend Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi everyone I am Marinda Aminati and in this video I would like to talk to you about strategies teaching speaking for young learners using sound Alright First of all, why should we choose music? Okay Well, almost 100% of students enjoy listening to music and they also enjoy listening it in English and thank you so much for the globalization right now because music is already spread to around the world and in every kind of tools in fact that students are young learners listening to music in English even though they didn't know about the language yet another reason why we should choose music or song to our classes is because uh, music can set a better pace and a better mood for everyone in the class improving the overall atmosphere of the class by using a song can have long lasting benefits for everyone involved last but not least songs can be easily adapted to fit different goals or aim or or aims in lessons once the song is chosen and teachers creativity can easily adapt it according to the level of the students and the need of the lessons all right so the step of teaching english using song okay before the three steps that i wrote in here there's actually teacher must choose a song that catchy so the children can catch the meaning of the song and can sing along with the song easily okay the first step in here is taking children to sing song comfortably so as a teacher we should uh, make them comfortable and feel the mood with taking the children to make a circle so they can move easily the second is use a little gesture that had the okay i mean choose the gesture that can move along with the song these gestures will channel the movement and help the students to experience the song in a way that feels good singing with gestures and dancing is one but there's are more gestures can make singing more memorable and comprehensible when when children sorry when children's songs are accompanied by gestures the movement help children to understand the song while at the same time engaging them in the content third is children expected to understand and can speak english in this case they can singing along the song without the lyric and they can remember that so that's all for me this is my reverence i put it from idaver sofia 2013 stay in kudus for the template i downloaded in slides go check it out there so many template that's really good that's all thank you so much assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh Okay, well everybody in this opportunity I would like to, to explain uh, To explain the strategies to improve speaking In education for learner So, uh, in this presentation I put many strategies We can study about the strategies to improve speaking uh, To improve speaking To become, to be native speaker uh, And others Uh, the first strategy is, is choose the topic and the task carefully and the second is best task on comprehensible language and the third is give interaction or training in discussion skill the th and the fourth in uh, the fourth strategy is keep students speaking the target language yeah. here i put uh, other speaking strategies purpose the speaking strategies so that students are able to communicate communicate in an oral way yeah the first is asking for clarification we can use uh, question words like what who uh, and others and the second strat speaking strat strategies is asking someone to repeat some something yeah like excuse me and the true and or other uh, sentence yeah yeah same like uh, the first strategies yeah we can explain by the uh, use question word and the third is using failures yeah in order to gain time to process the fourth is using composition maintain maintenance cues yeah and the fifth is getting someone attention he as uh, hey say we can say hey Uh, and so and other and the sick is using praha paris for structure or one cannot produce and the seven is appealing for assistance from the interlocutor interlocutor uh, and the uh, h number h is using formula formulaic expression and the sick is using mind and non-verbal expression to convey meaning to confer meaning yeah uh, then the important strategies is we as when we as the when we are as the uh, as the what teacher we must can train and train our uh, watch student to be confident and make them to be and make them to be watch Uh, to speak up in every time yeah. in inclusion in conclusion efforts to improve speaking skills or strategies to improve speech it is necessary to practice every day because uh, as we all know language is habit teacher can provide easy times related to education to support their abilities according to to the term of this presentation Lam namely strategies to improve speaking in education uh, to uh, for learner okay maybe this uh, presentation this opportunity thank you very much and the last i say wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh